Hey guys. Today we're going to talk about something called the converse of Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem we know by now is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right. We're going to talk about the converse of Pythagorean theorem, which is kind of like the opposite. It's kind of like going backwards. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to write the formula for Pythagorean theorem, but we're going to write it backwards. So instead of writing a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we're going to write c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So let's write it down backwards. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So we always want to write Pythagorean theorem backwards when we are doing the converse. So let me explain what the converse of Pythagorean theorem actually helps us do. What it actually helps us do is tell us if a triangle is going to be a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle. When Pythagorean theorem works out, we know that it's a right triangle. So if we see an equal sign, we know it's going to be a right triangle. So notice here we have three options, all right? It says c squared blank a squared plus b squared. We have it again here and again a third time. We are going to have three different options for answers. Our options could be, it could be a right, angle, a right triangle, it could be an acute triangle, or it could be an obtuse triangle. If we set up the problem backwards, and we see that we have an equal sign when we work the problem out, it will be a right triangle. When we do our work, and if we see a less than sign, think about it. When we think about acute angles and obtuse angles, if you hear the word less than, which word comes to mind? Usually acute comes to mind because it's less than a certain number of degrees. So if we see the less than symbol, it would be an acute triangle. And lastly, if C squared ends up being greater than, we think of the word obtuse because obtuse means a big angle. Greater than means big, so we would have an obtuse triangle. Now, thinking less than acute and greater than obtuse only works if we write it backwards. So we have to remember when we are doing these problems, we have to set it up c squared blank a squared plus b squared. So for it to make more sense, let's look at a couple of problems. So in example one, two, and three, what I want us to figure out is what kind of triangles are these? Are these right triangles? Are these acute triangles? Or are they obtuse triangles? So one and two, if you were to take a guess, you might guess and go, oh, they look like they might be right angles right there. But here's the trick. We're gonna make them look like they are right angles, but we don't know for sure because we don't want you to just take a guess based on their looks. We have to prove it mathematically to see what type of triangles they really are. So here's how we set these up. We set them up by writing the formula backwards. So for number one, I want to write c squared blank a squared plus b squared. All right, leave the blank there because we don't know what sign is going to go in. Now, you might say, well, I don't know what numbers to put where. Well, C is always the hypotenuse, right? And C is always the biggest number. The hypotenuse is always the biggest number. So let's jot down that C is always the biggest number. All right, I'm going to put a bubble around that. So when we look at the three numbers they give us, you always put the biggest number first. So in this case, 15 is our biggest number. So we're going to say 
15 squared blank a squared plus b squared. So it doesn't matter where the 12 and the 8 go. 12 squared plus 8 squared. So I'm going to get my calculator out. 15 squared is 225. So we have 225 blank. 12 squared is 144. Plus 8 squared is 64. So here's what we do. We bring down the 225 blank, and now we have to add these two. So 144 plus 64 is 208, oops, sorry, is 208. So we can clearly see that these numbers are not equal to each other, so it's not going to be a right triangle. Is 225 bigger than 208? It certainly is. So it's bigger, so I'm gonna put a greater than symbol here. So if it's a greater than symbol, this will be an obtuse triangle. So it's kind of like a little guessing game until we get to the end and we analyze what our numbers are and we figure out if we put an equal sign, a less than sign, or a greater than sign. Let's take a look at number two. Again, I'm going to set it up C squared blank A squared plus B squared. C is our biggest number. Well, let's look at our numbers, 12, 20, and 16. 20 is the biggest number, so that goes in for C. 20 squared, blank, 12 squared, plus 16 squared. So, let's take a look. 20 squared is 400, blank, 12 squared is 144, and 16 squared is 256. So bring down the 400, leave our blank, and let's add 144 and 256. Oh, we get 400. So 400 and 400, are they equal to each other? They sure are. So if we're equal to each other, then we know that it's a right triangle. All right, last one here. It's kind of hidden in the mix here. Number three. All right, let's take a look at number three. Here's the problem. We don't have a picture. Does that matter though? It really doesn't because all we need to know is what the biggest number is. Out of 12, 8, and 14, 14 oops, is our biggest number. So when we set this up, C squared blank A squared plus B squared, 14 is going to go in for our C. You don't need a picture for these. So 14 squared blank 12 squared plus 8 squared. So let's take a look. 14 squared is 196 blank 12 squared is 144. And 8 squared is 64. Bring down the 196, blank, and then let's add 144 plus 64. And we get 208. So take a look at our numbers. Which number is bigger? The 208 is bigger. So 196 is less than 208. And if it's less than, it's an acute triangle. So that's it. So what I want to show you is the work that you have to do on your own. All right. So the work that you have to do on your own, we can skip one through three. I'll put that in our directions, but we can skip one through three. Let's just look at the next six problems. Show that the triangle is a right triangle. Show that the triangle is an acute triangle. Show that the triangle is an obtuse triangle. 
all we have to do here for these problems, we have to do the converse of Pythagorean theorem. So we have to use c squared blank a squared plus b squared for all six of these problems. c squared, remember, is the biggest number. So you do all six of these problems exactly like we did the notes.